My job mostly is to really figure out from the creative team what is it that we want to do and then to design the machine and the controls that allow us to make that scenery do that effect. This is a control system for Billy Elliot, the first national tour. This is part of our uh, Hudson Scenic Automation System that we call HMC. Um, system set up to run all the effects for the show. The typical process is we here in the shop will get the system set up basically ready for the operator to use in the theater. Because of the complexity of all this equipment, we want to be able to do as much of the troubleshooting, proving out, debugging here in the shop. You know, we've designed this equipment and we've used it for a long time, but for every show there's always going to be subtle differences, things we do custom. And this is actually the motor and gears that cause that wall to be uh, controlled by the automation system. So when I actually run cues, signals are sent down to this control box, and in turn that control box knows how to run this motor, which will actually cause this flipper panel to open and close um, throughout the show. And then finally this entire wall can come on and off stage, and we do that through the use of tracks on the floor here. Connected to those tracks are cables that we in turn have connected to a winch that's built into the floor off stage that can actually track that unit on and off. Without a doubt, I'd say the biggest challenge of a project that I've been involved with was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang when we did the flying car. And so all of the machinery, all of the wires, you know, all of this equipment that was under there holding that car up kind of just perfectly melted away. And to have so much effort put into this one effect of the car flying out over the audience was pretty remarkable.